All right, guys, first thing to do is go to mindpy.com, and this is where you're going to find the Pi node. Go ahead and download the node. You're going to want to select what Windows application you're using or Mac. I like to open the downloads folder and watch it download in the background. All right. And so now that we have it downloaded, what we're going to do is go ahead and install that onto our PC. Okay, we've installed it. We're opening it up. Um, here is what I have. You can see right here is the node. Now, one of the things that we're going to take a look at is on your uh, actual app on your phone, when you open the Pi node the very first time, it's going to ask you for a code. So I'm going to open it on my phone and I'm going to show you where you're going to find that code so you can link the, your Pi node with your Pi app. So in the upper left hand corner, the three little lines there, click on that. You're going to go down to right where it says node. Go ahead and click on that and then it's going to give you a signing code. All right. When you download the node on your PC, it's going to give you a code. This is where you're going to enter it in. You're going to enter the code in right here and then hit confirm. And then it's going to talk to your PC and it's going to uh, link them together. All right, then back on the PC, we're going to click on node. And this is our Pi node application. OK, so you have applied for a Pi node. You can continue to follow the node technical preparation steps. All right, go ahead and click on continue. So you have submitted an application. The first thing it wants us to do is install Docker. And so it says Docker has not been found in your system. Please download it. So click here. We're going to go ahead and download it for Windows. If you have Mac or Linux, you can go ahead and download it for that. All right, in my downloads folder, we're watching it download here. One of the things I do want to show you here back on the Pi app um, is we have, we're installing the Docker, but there's also, if you want to become a super node, you need to open the router ports. You don't have to do this, but it is required for super nodes. So it's saying you need 31400 and 31409. Between those, all of those uh, ports need to be opened on your network so that it can speak back and forth. We'll show you how to do that in just a minute. We're just going to finish downloading Docker. Now that we're getting that downloaded, then what we're going to do is we're going to open it up and we are going to install Docker on our computer. Okay, installation succeeded. Close. We're going to open Docker. We're going to have to agree to the terms. All right, so we agreed to the terms. One of the things I like to do is I like to come down in my taskbar and I will pin my Pi node to the taskbar. Um, and so I just right click and say pin to taskbar. Uh, the other thing I'll do is I'll go and find our Docker. So we're going to type in Docker here and go ahead and click pin to taskbar. That way it's easy to find anytime. And we're going to open that. All right, Docker engine is waiting, so it's basically loading. Give that a second to load. All right, you can look through the tutorial if you would like. It says it takes about two minutes. Um, I've done this before, so I'm going to skip. All right, so no containers running. That's fine. You don't have to have anything running at the moment. However, one thing you do want to do is create a Docker profile and then you want to sign in. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in right here. You're going to create a Docker ID and a password. So I already have mine for all about mining. We'll get that logged in here. Okay, now we're signed in, quick and easy. All right, however, there's nothing running, which is fine. As long as the program's running in the background, that's all that the Pi node requires. 
So I'm gonna click on the node again, continue, install Docker. All right, it's still saying it's not there, so what we have to do is reset our PC. So I'm gonna do that real quick. All right, so I reset the PC, and I'm gonna go ahead and click on node. We have Docker running in the background, and it automatically jumps to turn on the node for testing. Uh, by turning on the switch below, you become you make your computer available for testing as a node, and this is just a regular node, not a super node. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it on. It's red right now because we submitted an application that hasn't been granted yet. If you look, you can go ahead and read all this. Yeah, it's testing as a node. Okay, so over here, Stellar Dummy has just started running. We don't need these other ones. We'll go ahead and remove those. All right, so we just have Stellar Dummy over here. That is what the Pi Note is running over in the Docker window, okay? So as of right now, we are successful at setting this up for running as a node. All right, let's go back out. We have installed Docker. Um, what we need to do is open router ports if we wanna be a super node. So this takes a little bit of setup, so please follow along. We're gonna check all this stuff, downloading ports listener, starting ports listener, that always, almost always is successful. Pinging to your computer, this is where it may take a minute for it to actually ping your computer. Um, and if you haven't already done this setup, more than likely you're gonna get this where all of your ports are not open and they can't talk, so that's not gonna work. We are gonna go and open the command prompt as an admin, type in ipconfig. In ipconfig, it's gonna give you a couple different things. The default gateway uh, IP address, that's what you wanna use. So I copy that, put that in my browser. All right, so this brings me to my router. I'm gonna go ahead and type in my admin username. This is going to be found. Usually there's a sticker on your router, your modem. You can go ahead and uh, find that there. So I'm putting in my admin, administrator name, my password, I'm gonna apply, logs me in. All right, right in here, there's a number of different things, but what we wanna click on is advanced setup. Yours may look different, but you wanna go to advanced setup, and we're looking for port forwarding. Port forwarding, there it is, okay, port forwarding. So we're gonna click on that. All right, so instead of the default gateway, we need the IPv4 address. IPv4 address, which I'm copying here. I don't want the world to see it, so I'm blocking it out. Um, but that's where I'm gonna enter my IP address right here. So I'm gonna paste that in there, and we're gonna do 31400 to 31409. Make sure that's TCP. I'm gonna hit apply. Um, everything here looks good. Let's hit apply and go ahead and create this port forwarding list. It may take a second for it to actually create the list, and there it should be, let's look. Yep, here it is. All right, port forwarding list, it's all there. So what we wanna do is restart our router now that we made a significant change. So you wanna go to your, your utilities and then restart the modem. Okay. This may take uh, a few minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, depending on your internet connection. I just sped it up. I'm gonna re-log back in just to verify everything is as we left it. So let's get logged in here. All right, advanced setup, port forwarding, we need to find, there it is. Okay, and we are there. Okay, perfect. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and check my nodes now and see if it find, if it pings my computer. Again, this can take a few minutes, so give it some time. All right, so, all right, most of them are open. It found a couple that are not open. You may have to check this a few times it, um, until you get them all open. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on check uh, now again, because these two are not open. All right, so we're gonna hit check now again and see what it does. Again, you might have to do this a couple times. All right, I still got different ones not open now. So I am gonna go ahead and restart my computer and try it again. 
Note, node is turned on for testing, so that's great. We're still testing as a node. We're gonna reload. All right, let's look at the tech setup. Let's open our ports. Oh, look, everything's open. Perfect. So uh, that's what we wanted. So we are now installed. Uh, we have our Pi node installed. Uh, we are all set up to become a super node and we are all running. You just leave this running in the background of your computer, whatever computer you want to be as a test node, and you will be helping out the Pi network.